And I think Heavenly Father, one of the greatest things he did was let me be sick while I painted the atonement. I had the canvas sitting at home, in my studio at home, and I was working on that, and I stopped for lunch, uh, grabbed something really quick to eat, and then went back to working. But within just a few short minutes, I got very, very ill. And uh, I don't think emergency room ill, but pretty close. And I started throwing up and just was very sick. So I'm kind of thinking, well, I must have gotten food poisoning, whatever I had grabbed for lunch. But it didn't go away, and it didn't go away for five months. The day that I finished the painting and I put my signature on it, um, the illness was gone. And I never had it again. The thought came to me, my word, I feel so awful. How on earth did the Lord carry all of our illnesses? Because one of the things Elder Maxwell told me when we talked about the atonement, one, one of my visits, um, he, he pulled his scriptures out and he read to me about the atonement. And at that time, he was quite sick with cancer. So he was, he was very familiar with pain and illness and, and how that applies in the atonement. And he told me, he said that one day that we were studying that, he said to me as if he was, he was bearing witness of it because he says, do you know that the Savior actually suffered for all of our illnesses? That means as sick as you've ever been, he's been that sick for you. So he can understand, so he can judge you fairly. And I had never in my life ever thought of the atonement, even though we read about it, it's in the scriptures, that it applied to our illnesses. I always, I always thought of the atonement as sin, either sin you commit or something else, someone else's sin that has affected you. But that was what my understanding to that point was, was just sin. And, but it isn't. It was anything that is pain or sorrow or of a negative nature. The atonement covers all that. And I think Heavenly Father, one of the greatest things he did was let me be sick while I painted the atonement. Because I was mindful every day as I would try to put paint on that canvas of what he must have, and, and not minimizing what he did, but just having a better, or at least a more humble and more quiet respect for what that meant to, to suffer in the garden. It really became real for me.